This is a Rally Mtrax 1000 Chromo K2. This mountain bike is from around 1995 and it features Reynolds K2 Chromali mountain tubing. From what I can gather, the um, K2 tubing were a custom tube made specially for Rally by Reynolds. Um, inside of the tube has got um, a type of a fluting um, a kind of a rifling uh, as far as I know so they're pretty unique in that way again they're bonded with the logs and not brazed um, like traditional bike frames made of steel transfers have worn away and um, one thing, these are definitely not as light as the um, titanium Intrax bikes. I have a 600 and it's far far lighter than this. This is quite heavy, this bicycle. The uh, triple chainring is um, Shimano Livio. Um, what I don't like about this one is that it's pressed steel and they're all pressed together even though you can remove it from the center um, they're just not very nice it's, you can't take the three apart because of the nature of the manufacturing um, kind of a cheap um, chain set compared to um, some others I've seen on these bikes the front derailleurs leave you also kind of boxy and clunky Rear derailleur, Livia. Um, then you've the seven speed cassette. Shimano uh, cantilevers, Livio again. Also on the rear. Quick release seat clamp um, in the opposite direction to most of the bicycles I've seen. The brake levers are diacomp and Gear shifters are the um, twist grip type, and I see one for the front. A 501 um, handlebar, and the headset is um, threadless type. Alivio um, oversized hubs, it's the rear Alivio hub, and the rims are Alessa. Made in Belgium. Move the alloy seat post. And a pretty clapped out Vuelta saddle. And fork. Pedals I just put on myself. Uh, it had these horrible plastic steel rat traps with toe clips. Um, which I felt were very uncomfortable and a bit dangerous. So I popped these on. Imtrax are wonderful bikes. Um, the whole concept of bonding was um, pretty daring by Rally. Um, it was an ultimate flop. Frames used to snap and come apart and stuff like that. But they're quite comfortable to ride and they've got a nice bit of uh, character. Yeah, so this um, bloody crow, this one is um, a lot heavier than I thought it would be, um, I picked it up online, um, took it for a barn and it's um, very very zippy, um, so yeah, it's nice but a lot heavier than my Amtrak 600 which has a titanium tube.